That video about Keffels and Kiwi Farms, it got more attention than most of my videos do. Um, so it's doing okay. It's got a few, like over 150 views or something now. And it has more comments than others. And obviously because of the troll nature of Kiwi Farms, uh, they came, those commenters came to comment because they're trolls. And <laughs> I just have to bring up this one commenter um, because it's a lot of fun. It's, it's probably my favorite thing that's ever happened. Um, first of all, <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, literally the worst show I've watched in a very long time. Wow, zero out of 10. Astounding, impressively horrible. So wretched you would think a script and hoove team would be required. I don't know what a hoove team is. The fact that just the two of you are able to be this bad off the cuff is absolutely amazing. This is fucking phenomenal. This kind of comment is absolutely my favorite thing because they don't have anything productive to say. They can't actually argue against any of the points that I've made. They probably, you know, only watched half the video, but they just didn't like the tone of us or whatever. They're just, you know, they're just being critical, but without any actual substance. This kind of shit comes out all the time. Uh, trolls are garbage people who just, you know, they just have to say negative shit. My response to this uh, this uh, quote or this uh, comment was that actually this comment speaks volumes about how good a show I produce. If someone comes on any other episode and says that it's bad, I might take them seriously. But on this episode, it's a clear endorsement because you're not coming here in good faith, but merely to undermine. Thank you for demonstrating that Felicia and I are on the right path and that, th and that my show is good. So, <laughs> so I appreciate your fucking bullshit comment. I appreciate the engagement. You come and comment on my stuff. You hit that down vote because you think that's going to hurt me. And then I get more at attention on my video, which is counter to whatever bullshit narrative you wish was out going out there. So then <clears throat> we've got the re reply. There we go. <clears throat> so they say, ha, thank you for doubling down on your astounding trait of seeing up as down. It's amazing illogic on so many levels. No explanation as to why. Uh, kid, listen, word to God. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in God. So your word to God means nothing to me. I stumbled onto your channel, right, because of the Kiwi Farms and the Keffels hashtags. Uh, there's no persecution or capitalist conspiracy, I never said there was, uh, to shut down your show. No, you, as a troll, come to try and undermine uh, the message that I'm sending by making a comment that you hope will make people not watch the show. That's what trolls do. Don't inflate your own self-importance. Uh, <laughs> and one YouTube comment doesn't affect anything. My comment isn't for anyone on Earth else on earth but you a direct message to you there's millions of ways to send a direct message to me that aren't public i give email addresses there's a contact form on my uh website you can contact me through any uh social media if you don't want a public comment to be public that's fine if you want to send something directly to me that's how you do it this is a public comment intentionally designed to undermine my video and to make people think that it's not worth watching which is which but it has the opposite effect because now you've enticed people to think that oh my god they're saying something important or something controversial <clears throat> it was that bad no it wasn't like you actually have no idea what the fuck you're talking about uh, you come off as a bright enough kid. I'm 45. You're an idiot. You're like assuming I'm a kid because actually you're probably not even assuming I'm a kid. What comes out here is it's an attempt to demean me is what it is. But it doesn't work because I'm a grown ass adult with self-confidence and it doesn't derive from the approval of trolls on the internet. Uh, you come off as a bright enough kid with decent enough attentions who just fell down the anarchy rabbit hole. Uh, no, I've been studying anarchy for probably six or seven years. Uh, I've been co studying communism for around the same amount of time. I, I fell into conservatism and right-wing bullshit and capitalism. And when I started reading and learning intentionally, that's when I learned about anarchy and communism. So he continues. I played around with communism and anarchy in my youth too. No, you didn't. You don't know what you're talking about, obviously. You said in the beginning you liked anarchy because it's constantly being reimagined or something to that effect. Uh, I said that it can adapt to the evidence. I said that it can uh, change uh, when it is shown to be incorrect. <laughs> That's why it's a useful uh, heuristic for viewing the world through. <laughs> so, uh, Talk about non-intellectual uh, nonsense here. Uh, and yeah, that's the allure. Yeah, that's not 
that's not the alert. That's it's fundamental. Like that's the one of the strengths of it. The anti-statism, the anti-hierarchy stuff. That's important. That's that's the core, right? But on top of that is an a, acceptance of evidence, an acceptance of understanding the world as it is, so that you can adapt to it and change it. <sighs> But that co-host of yours, good God, I'll be nice and just say the same doesn't always apply. Uh, actually, Felicia's brilliant. And I think that anybody uh, <laughs> who's pathetic enough to be commenting negative shit on some small channel like mine uh, really isn't the person to be taking advice from. Uh, so anyway, I do wish you luck in life, kid. Uh, yeah, you're probably like a 13 year old dipshit who thinks you're smarter than everybody else. Uh, because you live in Kiwi farms and everybody confirms your biases all the time. Uh, I suggest reading a book. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's amusing as fuck to me that a guy like this thinks that his comment is somehow relevant. I, I at first I didn't even read it because I, I, so I just replied, blah, 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 fuck off, get the fuck out of here because I don't need the approval of uh, internet trolls. Like I, I do this show for those who want to watch it. I do this show for myself because I have a need to get this outlet, uh, this stuff off my chest in a lot of ways and to learn and, and to grow with the world and to learn more about how things are working. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, pirate, whatever the fuck name, uh, Pirate McCall. Thanks for your bullshit comment. I'm every bit of uh, attention that you bring to the channel is appreciated. Uh, so anyway.